Hey guys, Happy New Year. Um, decided to make another video on i3. I did get a request on how to pipe Conky into the bar instead of the standard i3 status. So I'll just show you what mine looks like. It's right here down below. I'll just show you how to do this tonight. Uh, from left to right, uh, this just tells me if there's any updates on my system. Uh, this tells me if there's any AUR updates for any AUR packages that I have. This is my kernel, volume, brightness, battery, and then date and time. So I'll just uh, show you how to do that tonight. But if you go to the i3 window manager website, this is the wrapper script that we'll need to create. So if you just open up a terminal or stuff, but it's really quick just showing you. So you just echo the first version using the i3 for JSON and then begin the endless array and it just this just this description just tells you what's going on with it and then the very last one is the most important to remember is where you're gonna put your conky so if we take a look at my wrapper script so if you open up any text editor uh, it's just a, a nice bash script so you're echoing the version echo and then that so I have it in my main uh, my home directory under a dot file and then once you're done with that make sure that you make it executable so to do that for those who don't know if you just do uh, sudo chmod plus x and then conky i3 or whatever you call it that will chmod and make that execute make it executable the second thing that you need to do is to actually download Conky itself. So, me, I'm running Arch. It would be uh, Pacman dash capital S Conky, and then that will download Conky. But if you're on Gen 2, it would be Merge Gen 2. Or if you're on uh, an Ubuntu or a Debian, it would be a sudo apt-get install Conky. Or you, you can go to noobslab.com, and they will have a nice guide on how to install Conky. But once you have Conky down installed, let's take a look at what my Conky looks like. So we'll use gedit again. Conky RC file. It's just a basic Conky file, so uh, this will just show you the, the nice little icon set and then my colors. So I can put this into um, put this in the description below to my Dropbox and you guys can download it or tweak it however you guys want it. Um, so you just make that and also make sure you make the Conkey RC file executable. That's important also. So to finish this off we need to go into the i3. So if you go to Vim, uh, i3, config, and just scooch on down below here. Right here under status command slash home slash my name and then where you put your conky your wrapper. So it's dot conky i3. Once all that's done you just uh, make sure you save it and then you just refresh the the bar and it should pop up here. If you guys have any questions just uh, leave a comment down below um, and I will do my best to help you out but uh, if you um, have a good day guys and uh, have a great rest of your holidays.